I just found out that you can plug a mouse and keyboard into your PlayStation 4 and play Fortnite Battle Royale natively with a mouse and keyboard on console. No expensive adapters or setup required. This just works straight away. You plug them both in and you're good to go. You've got full customization too, just like on PC. It's impressive. Not many console games allow or support this, especially in PVP titles. So we're gonna talk about this today. Let's look at the positives first, because there are some. This is cool in a certain respect. Giving console players the option to play with mouse and keyboard if they want to. I'm assuming that it works in the PVE version of Fortnite as well as the BR one. So if you have to play on console, but you're using to PC then that option is there for you. I think for a lot of players it's a comfort thing. On the other hand giving players native mouse and keyboard support on this game on PlayStation 4 and then playing against other console players using controllers is going to cause a massive balance problem with the game. This is going to be a big issue unless something is done about it and in my opinion there's no doubt about that. Having a mouse lets you turn quicker, be more precise, aim more consistently. Having a keyboard in this game as well will let you build way faster than someone trying to build with a controller. The building element of Fortnite is huge. You can quickly throw up stairs to flank from above, from the side, build walls and structures instantly for protection. You can do this kind of stuff really, really quickly on a keyboard. It's just easier. And the best players in the game use this stuff all of the time. Now the footage that you're watching here is from me using a mouse and keyboard on PS4. I recorded this earlier today and this was my third game. How does it feel? Well, if you're used to playing on PC, all of the controls are the same and you can tweak the sensitivity a little bit, but initially it feels pretty sluggish and bad. The game runs at 30 FPS or a variable frame rate if you unlock it, but that causes more input lag and the mouse feels more inconsistent. So if you're used to playing on PC at 120 frames per second, it's going to feel awful and very alien to you to begin with. However, you play a few games and get into the groove and you'll get used to how it feels and looks, how smooth it is, and you'll be able to shoot targets way faster than they can shoot you. In extreme close ranges, it gives you a little bit of an advantage in my opinion, because shotguns are so good in this game and the jumping meta at the moment and how sluggish it can feel on a mouse, sometimes it gets hard to track targets at close range, especially with people jumping around everywhere and it feels like there's maybe a bit of mouse acceleration there. So someone with a shotgun and a controller, I think could still beat you at close range. At anything other than close range, so that's medium, long and extreme, you absolutely have a huge aiming advantage over someone using a controller if you're using a mouse. And keep in mind that this is a game with a very large open map. So you can choose exactly at what distance you want to engage someone, even build your own defences. You can easily control the range of your firefights in this game. And say you're playing in duos or squads and you're all using mouse and keyboard, then the advantage is going to scale exponentially. This is a problem and it's going to get far worse for console players, especially in a competitive PvP game like Fortnite Battle Royale, which is free to play and has leaderboards. What if Epic start doing online tournaments or qualifiers for a LAN event for example. It's highly likely that because of the number of players on console they would do a console tournament as well as a PC tournament. There's already a lot of talk about this game going competitive and as an esport so that's more than likely to happen. The duo teams and squads that are using mouse and keyboards are just going to win. I think if players are using a mouse and keyboard on PlayStation 4, then they should be put in mouse and keyboard lobbies to maintain a fair playing field. I'm assuming that because Fortnite natively works with mouse and keyboard, that the game can easily detect when one is being used. I mean, we know it can because it shows up in the menu and on the in-game user interface. So it should group those players in lobbies together. That's a very simple way of fixing the problem. Unfortunately, there are people out there who buy mouse and keyboard translators for console, devices like the Zim 4, which trick the PlayStation into thinking it's a controller, and then translate the controller movements and inputs to mouse and keyboard. So I don't think you'd ever be able to completely stamp this out. However, native support like in Fortnite, say you've just plugged in a mouse and keyboard directly into your PlayStation 4, then I think that that can definitely be detected and the players can be managed accordingly. 
One other problem you might run into is players starting the game using a controller, getting into a controller lobby, and then when the game starts, plugging in a mouse and keyboard. So to stop that, you could simply have a system where if you plug in a mouse and keyboard and the game has already started, controller inputs are disabled until the mouse and keyboard are removed and the player continues to use the controller. Now this is all very interesting to me because I can't think of many other games that have allowed this so far on console. I can't think of any in fact. And I'd love to hear the design choices behind this at the moment. Is this an oversight? Is it a feature? Is it just work in progress? Is it a bug? You know, maybe native functionality of mouse and keyboard will be removed down the line. I don't know. Perhaps Epic are actually using this on purpose to collect stats. Do mouse and keyboard players on average win more games over players using a controller? And will they factor that into if they keep this in the game or not? Who am I to say? I mean, I'm not designing this game. Epic are the developers making this game. And at the end of the day, if they want mouse and keyboard support in their game and to mix controller players and mouse and keyboard players together then that's their choice. What I do know though is that you've got a cross-play angle in this game however. I also found out today that if you're in a PS4 lobby and your friend joins from PC you'll actually be able to play together in a PC lobby and that is incredibly impressive in my opinion. So perhaps Epic Games put this in for that reason. If you game on PS4 and have a friend on PC then you can play with them in a PC lobby and use mouse and keyboard so it's a bit fairer for you maybe that's why that's in the game but using mouse and keyboard against other playstation 4 players on controllers that totally should not be allowed in a pvp game i say that you either group the players or remove the native mouse and keyboard support for the game because people will use this to gain a big advantage especially when it's so simple and easy to do wrapping things up i applaud epic for making this so seamless and offering that choice for console players and also the crossplay thing is fantastic not many people are doing that but there's a huge balance issue here that's only going to get worse and cause members of the community to rage about what they will call cheaters using mouse and keyboard in console lobbies so there we have it guys that's my two cents on the matter let me know what your opinion is down in the comments below if you enjoyed the video leave a like that would be much appreciated if you didn't enjoy it a dislike subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next one